Hi guys, Spicy C here, and Hyper Spider, and Deadly Diver. I have a bow and arrow, this is really cool. So, we've also got Sally BC here with us. Hello. So, last time, you see Eros. If you haven't um, seen the seen past, the past two video episodes. two episodes, click the icon up here. So, let's get started. Next, we have Max. Mm hmm. He becomes a superhero called Sparrow. He has he's a got a jetpack. Yeah, and he's got bow and arrow. I like the design. I like really. Boom. Here we have Charlotte. She has lightning arrow sticky things that arrow. that Black Panther has. Black Panther? Do you mean Black <laughs> Widow? I'm tired, okay? It's like 12 o'clock or something. It's not 12. Okay, what time is it actually? Okay, it's like 8.50 when I'm recording this. We also have this Rocco. This is Rocco. Mm -hmm. He is a king of an island off the coast of Africa. And on their island, they have these uh, these trees that, when you burn them, when uh, when you burn them, they give off this special energy. Uh, and when you melt down multiple metals with it at the same time, it will fuse all the metals together to make an incredibly strong metal. And that is what this suit is made out of. Mhm. Mm he also is a really powerful, and he has an army. There's like a hundred men in them, and this, this is one is, of them. Yeah, this is one of them. I just labeled him the army guy because I know. Yeah. Yeah. Next up is Alfie. He's a pretty cool guy. He's a, also a, a, a most heat things that I'm showing you in this video are good. Yeah. Well, we'll tell you that they that they. We'll tell you when they're evil. Yeah. Remember Gorgulus? Yeah? Yeah, I remember Gorgulus. Mm-hmm. Well, um, here, it's a bit like that, but it's a good symbiote. He's called Acid. I don't know why I said it in that voice. It just sounds cooler, you know? Yeah. I mean, Acid is also cool. You mean Acid is also cool? No. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. This is Chris number two. Mm -hmm. Remember, Chris number one was the guy with the shield. The tiny shield. <laughs> this is superhero called Cement Man. He's very similar to Sandman, but with cement. Pause. Now I'm gonna show you one of the original drawings. Oh, this gives me old memories. So it's Anthony. And Jack, Jack looks like a freaking psychopath. He says, I hate Vex, he killed. <laughs> and then Anthony says, he killed who? Apparently with his mouth shut. And then Jack says, he killed my sister. But I'm jing. <laughs> Why is that a joke? It just sounds like a joke. Do you like, mean dun dun dun? <laughs> it kind of sounds like a joke. Like, I hate Vex. He killed. He killed who? He killed my sister. And then it's Anthony labelled and Jack labelled. And they have sticks coming out of their heads because everybody has them, right? Yeah, unicorns. Let's move on. Yeah, come on. Ah, move it. Wait, which way? Oh god, I'm going it's the wrong way. way. Ah! Yeah, so this is Lexi. She's someone. Yeah, she is this guy. If you ever watch Big Hero 6. Yeah, that, that <laughs> film. What about it? <laughs> Booze. So in Big Hero 6, if you remember... There's the villain who uses Hero's tech and is like, yeah, that, that tech, right? So these are very similar to that where she can control them. Uh, she can control them uh, and like tell them like what to form random <laughs> stuff. Hi Hyper Spider, are you okay? 
Uh, well. <laughs> no! <laughs> she also has these these blades, which are made out of like miniature versions of these, and they can switch from this side of the, her arm to this side. She also has a uh, roller skates for no reason whatsoever. So let's move on to the next character, which is Jason. Are you alright? <laughs> Help! Why are you laughing at me? It's not funny! <laughs> I'm sorry, you just look for. Oh no! His arm. So this is Jason. He is a massive, massive fan of Iron Man. He loves Iron Man so much. And Vex is a big inspiration to him. So. I'm sorry, guy. How about you? How about you stop? Okay. How okay. about you stop? He wanted to be like Iron Man, and he wanted to be a hero like Vex. So he asked his dad, who is basically like a real life Tony Stark. He... <laughs> his dad is basically like a real life Tony Stark. So his dad built him an Iron Man suit. This is Mark 1. Oh, sick <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, sick Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, my God. So this is Mark 1. It's very similar to... Um, it's very similar to what Tony Stark built in the first Iron Man film. Yeah. With the, um, the hand mm. repulsors and the feet repulsors. So he could fly really high. He, he couldn't fly that high, though, could he? So this is like just a test of the flying. Then this is Mark II. It's a more fleshed out prototype, which can actually fly a bit higher and faster. And it's just a fully functioning suit. And then they built Mark III, which is camera Sorry falling over. Which, really? That's nice. Which is designed, which is more designed. This is when he came up with the name Iron J. So he is Iron J. Pretty nice name. Next up is Mark IV. Uh, Mark IV is a bit bulkier with like these spines and stuff. Uh, it's just a bit cooler. And then we've got Mark V, nicknamed Flames. It's got this uh, back booster and these boosters on the back of the feet. Uh, he's also got this really sick flames design on it. It's like blue at the top going down to like yellow and white, uh, yellow and orange at the bottom. The next one is Mark VI. It's got like a, a jackhammer and a claw and it's got this really cool yellow and blue design. Next. I'm working on something, just get, continue, Sally BC. Right. Next is uh, Castaway, Mark 7. It's a pretty cool design, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's got like a, a large chest power source right here. This one's a bit more designed like Iron Man, but whatever. I think this one's designed for faster travel, isn't it? Castaway, designed for um, faster travel. Yes, actually. Um, Flames was designed just to go fast for short distance, but this guy... Castaway. No! No, no, no! This is not for faster flight. This is for longer flights, because it's got a bigger uh, longer energy. Flight. Longer, longer. So not faster, So he has longer. more power. He has longer to... Huh, what a surprise that he actually knows more about his characters than I do. For once. <laughs> so next up is Mark 8. It's this really cool silver design. This this drawing's got the uh, hand out the front. Let's see if we can get the camera a bit closer. And his faceplate's up. Yeah, the faceplate is up in this drawing. Is this suit designed for anything specific? Um... Uh, no, it just looks cool. <laughs> Alright. Then this is Mark 9. 
Now, Mark 9 is special because it's it's made specifically to work with Mark uh, 10. Now, if we turn over the page to see Mark 10, Mark 10 is nicknamed the Iron Buster. It's it's very similar to the Hulk Buster, just um, not. <laughs> So you can see it's got like these big boosters all over the place. The next suit is, uh, what's this one called? This is Mark 11. This is Dragonfly. Uh, and this one is special. It's, it's a really sweet design with black and like an orangey bluish color with these really cool blue wings. But this one, Jason has uh, something on his phone which allows him to um, to uh, remotely activate the suit to come and fly to him. And all of those characters that we just talked about are part of a superhero team, you, the superheroes from the last episode as well, called the Clang. And one surprising thing, actually, is that Ghost Girl and Lex also become good guys and join this team, which I think is quite cool. Now, all these superheroes, they need somewhere to stay. So, they now live inside of Jason's house, which has been renamed to the Clang Tower. Now look at his face. This is superb editing. This is Mark 1. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's literally why Sally BC had been doing this whole thing because I've been working on that because I'm really bad at editing. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. episode. End of part three. Yeah, this was a, the shortest episode we've done. That's because it's kind of like the end of this theme, I yeah, guess. Yeah, end of like a, a phase, yeah. I guess. Mm. It's like we're going to like a new, just random old thrown in drawings I've done. It's to be continued. <laughs>